Today I am going to show you how to make an activity that you will see at the end of this video. You'll see my um, clients using it. There are very few materials required for this activity, just a detergent bottle. I cut the handle off the detergent bottle and used it to make a different activity that I will share with you on another day. As you can see, I like to make things out of recycled materials because I am the recycling occupational therapist, Barbara Smith. So I have this little bottle that I'm going to slow motion show you how easy it is to cut. First I drew a shape of a banana because I wanted to do a fruit theme and you'll see in the following video that I have some different plastic and actually cardboard shapes cut to look like fruit. Then I'm going to show you a manipulation activity that children, adults might enjoy. It provides some sensory stimulation because there's some pulling involved and whenever you manipulate these um, bracelets, even these inexpensive ones that I got online, there's a lot of sensory involved in using those. Um, so this is very simple. I'm going to use this top of the bottle and the cap another time for a different activity. I could have children or adults matching the covers and the lids and some of the people I work with are really, really, really good at doing this. And they enjoy having all these different sizes. And they match them up, screw them together. So working on those really nice hand skills. So let's just use the show you how easy it is to make this. And then you'll have a chance to take a look at my clients using it. What's great about this is one, it's free. It's easy. <laughs> you can make it as simple or as challenging as you want. You can make this hole really large, you can make the hole really small. It just requires using two hands. And you can see how I cut plastic very easily with these scissors that I bought um, at Staples or another office supply store or Joann Fabrics or fabric stores. There really, there's several different scissors that will easily cut through plastic. And then once you have that cut, here we go. You could um, turn this into a matching activity, like this, have two of them, and make another slit. Just really doesn't take long. I could make a whole bunch of these in just a few minutes, and this is something that will encourage children and adults to use both hands. A lot of children who have autism and other developmental disabilities avoid using their hands together. You could turn it into a matching activity, a language activity. They could talk about the different types of fruit. Check out my website, RecyclingOT.com. That's my book, Recycling Occupational Therapist. From Rattles to Riding, Parents' Guide to Hand Skills. And my newest book is From Flapping to Function, A Parent's Guide to Autism and Hand Skills. Written specifically to help parents who have children with developmental disabilities, um, in particular autism. Uh, to help them engage, get sensory feedback, and develop functional hand skills. Thank you. Don't give up. Don't give up. You have to find the opening. Find the, um... Whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Here. See that? Show me how you pull it. Well, you have to pull that off. With two hands, you're going to have to pull the... There's some on the table you can do. There's more here, more. You're so good at that. Two people are doing this together.